Hello guys. Today, we will talk about the defense of Wake Island. Make sure to subscribe and like. The 10 subscriber special is going to come soon. Some information was paraphrased from Wikipedia. Wake Island is a small coral atoll in the Western Pacific. From December 8 to December 23, 522 U.S. military personnel fought against two Japanese invasions on the small atoll. The attack was part of a coordinated attack against the United States of America. On December 8, just hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor, 36 Japanese bombers took off from bases in the Marshall Islands and bombed Wake Island, destroying eight of the 12 Wildcat fighter planes stationed there. Of the aviation personnel, there were 34 casualties. On the morning of December 11, 1941, the Japanese commenced the first landing by landing infantry on shore. The South Sea Task Force landed about 450 Special Assault Infantry. The U.S. Marines fired their 5-inch guns, managing to hit and destroy two destroyers of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Admiral Frank Fletcher was tasked with relieving Wake Island, however after further intelligence reports, the plan was aborted. The strong resistance of the Wake Island garrison prompted the Japanese to send the aircraft carriers Soryu and Harayu along with escorts for a second invasion of Wake Island. The Japanese invasion force consisted mainly of the ships from the first assault and 1,500 Japanese marines. The attack began shortly after a bombardment. The fight was brutal, and after a full night and morning of fighting the Wake Island garrison surrendered to the Japanese marines. The U.S. Marines lost 51 personnel and at least 70 civilian construction workers. 433 U.S. personnel were captured. All remaining men on the island were captured by the Japanese. The Japanese losses were 144 casualties, and at least 28 aircraft were shot down or damaged. Captain Henry T. Elrond was awarded the Medal of Honor for shooting down two Japanese fighters and sinking the Japanese destroyer, Kasaragi. The only Marine to escape the island was Lt. Col. Walter Baylor, later a Brigadier General. This is because he was a radio technician and was needed elsewhere. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like. The 10 subscriber special is coming soon. Have a great day everyone.